But first here at six, an end to free bus fare in Kansas City. That possibility is the topic of a study for the Kansas City Area Transportation Authority. It would require a major overhaul of the current system, but city leaders say some of the funding it relies on is just drying up. You may remember KCHCA eliminated bus fares in 2020, making Kansas City the first major metropolitan city to do so. Prior to that, it was $1.50 to ride or $50 for a monthly pass. Today, the KCATA held a meeting to provide an update on the study. KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge was there, and ahead of it, she turned over the mic to those who rely on public transportation. We met Precia McDowell waiting for the bus on 35th Street. It's her only way of getting around. I don't have the money to afford the bus, so it's really a good thing that I don't have to pay um, to go places that I need to go. Precia is homeless and looking for housing and work. We talked just hours after her early morning job interview on the plaza. It would really impact my life a lot if I couldn't make it to like interviews and different things. Just like other writers we talked to, she said a free ride is the only one she can afford. Casey ATA's new fair study is researching if it can keep rides free for everyone. And I feel like, you know, too, that, you know, I've always been a taxpayer and I've always paid my taxes. So I feel like that maybe that would be something that, you know, that those taxes have went towards, you know, something to, to help better the, the people that are in poverty. Kansas City is able to offer free fares right now because of a lot of money they got during COVID, but those funds are running out, which is why KCATA says it needs to conduct this study. So there's a lot of questions and information we need to collect to make sure our board can fairly weigh what the decision should be to return to a fair or not to return to a fair. During this afternoon's study update, the Transportation Authority's consultant addressed areas where they could remain fare free for people in need. The study is more of a fact finding mission than a final say on fares, but riders are clear on their choice. It's going to take a lot of um, told on people. Um, a lot of people's not going to be able to go out, look for housing and look for jobs to be able to support their families and and things like that. And that will be very rough for riders in a routine of traveling without a toll in Kansas City. Abby Dodge KSHB 41 News.